the Louisiana Submerged Roads Program, but it is actually the Federal Emergency Relief Program out of Washington, D.C., uh, from the Federal Highway Administration. Uh, this program encompasses uh, Orleans, St. Bernard, and Plaquemine parishes. There are some 56 roads uh, that were impacted or affected by Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. And uh, this is one of the many projects that, uh, that's actually taking place and many more will come into fruition uh, as the continued monies come in to, uh, to address them. But everything has been staged and uh, the various phases of work ha has been done on a lot of other projects, but this one is kicking off today. Good morning. <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you for being here today. I am Roy Kizare, the Legislative Liaison for the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development. Magazine Street is important to the continued, continued economic growth and development of the city of New Orleans. We are glad to do our part to help make this street of dreams even more of a reality for local residents and tourists. Repairs to Magazine Street are being made under the South Louisiana Submerged Roads Program a $118 million road rehabilitation program to repair and resurface roads, roads damaged as a result of hurricanes Katrina and Rita. The program is restoring 56 hurricane damaged roadways damaged in Orleans, Jefferson, and St. Bernard parishes. Because Magazine Street has increasingly gained popularity both domestically and internationally, as one of the must-to-see places in New Orleans, this project couldn't be more appropriate in the continuing efforts, as Mayor Landrieu has stated before, to create a better New Orleans. Uh, this project will resurface Magazine Street from Nashville Avenue to US 90 business. Work also includes urban repairs to curb repairs new striping and markers, and new ADA handicap ramps. Some sidewalk and storm water drain repair are also included and varies based on the particular locations. The contractor is Plus Concrete Inc. and the cost of the project is $6.7 million. DOTD worked closely with the Magazine Street Merchants Association to devise a holiday schedule that would not impact holiday shopping. As a result, the project is beginning, uh, is beginning after Christmas and will finish before next Thanksgiving. Work on the project will be broken down into three particular segments. Zone 3, St. Andrew to US 90B is beginning now and will be completed by Mardi Gras. Zone 2, Napoleon to St. Andrew will begin after Mardi Gras and will continue through the summer of 2011. Zone 1, Nashville to Napoleon, will begin in summer of 2011 and continue until the fall of 2011. The Submerged Roads Program requires the coordination of numerous agencies to repair and improve our infrastructure from federal, state, and local agencies to our consultants and contractors, the success of the program can truly be measured by the teamwork involved. This is a great day in New Orleans. Today we, we undertake a major project here in New, New Orleans, the resurfacing of Magazine Street for about 3.6 miles, which is one of the longer projects that you'll see in the coming year. Uh, this is one of the major retail and residential, this, this is the character of New Orleans that you see here on Magazine Street, the, the mixture of retail, commercial, residential, uh, all along the street. And uh, as Representative Kazare said, who's not from New Orleans, US 90 is Calio. Calio to Nashville is the, the project, which is very long from the Mississippi River Bridge all the way to near the Audubon Park is what this project is gonna do. And it's gonna do it in record time. And that's, that's, that's also significant. We've worked very closely with the merchants and the businesses and, and, and residents here, and we're gonna do this in segments. I just came through the first segment. You'll see these been done in about three or four blocks segments, all the work's going to be done, they'll move from one side of the street to the other, finish and move to the next section so we, we can get people back into the, uh, their businesses comfortably. And they're going to all, it's all going to be done by next Thanksgiving. 
which is pretty amazing for, for something of this size and scale and scope. So we really appreciate working with the Department of Transportation. Uh, we've been at this so long, all of us have had various in, engagement in this since, since, since we, we began this process. But I want to thank the legislators for, for, for supporting us in this, for the businesses in understanding, the residents in understanding that this, this is a desperate improvement that needs to be done to improve this great corridor of, of New Orleans and this great commercial corridor. Uh, so we, we're very pleased to have it. We want you to understand how this fits into the place-based strategy that the city is implementing now, that this is a key component of that. When this street is done and it ties to all the other improvements that we'll have, the fire station here across the street and other things, you'll, you'll see the, the vibrance of this street be maintained and come back. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to our legislators. I think we'll start with Representative Legere and followed by Representative Abramson. So thank you all so much for coming, and we look forward to the progress that is going to come here. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for being here today. This, is, this truly is a very exciting day. As, uh, as an individual who not only represents this area, but as somebody who lives in the Magazine Street corridor on Laurel Street just off of Magazine, um, this is a, a monumental day, uh, a recognition of uh, the lifeblood and uh, the lifeline of this community, Magazine Street, uh, and the investment that the Federal uh, administra uh, Highway Administration is making to assist us in repairing and, uh, and, and resurfacing this road is truly a step in the right direction for our community. Um, certainly need to tip our caps to the Regional Planning Commission, um, to the City of New Orleans, uh, to the federal administration, uh, specifically to Senator Mary Landrieu and her office for the work that they did in assistance uh, in, in getting this, these dollars here uh, to, to Magazine Street and to the city of New Orleans. Um, to, t to, to think about the magnitude of the project that we have ahead of us to be uh, paving the road from downtown through the lower garden district, through the garden district, through the Irish Channel and all the way up into uptown. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a monumental task, it's a wonderful uh, project that's been undertaken and I think that it's clear to see that uh, it just takes a few steps down Magazine Street to see how important this work is going to be. Um, the, to have a smooth road and to have uh, the, the proper kind of access for those with disabilities, to have proper drainage and all of those other things just serve uh, the, 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 the residents of this community and the businesses the way that they deserve to be ser served. And, uh, and, and just very proud to be a part of this groundbreaking uh, to make our community a little bit more livable and a little bit, uh, and a little bit more successful with the help of all of these small businesses and residents of this area. So thank you for being here and thank you for uh, letting me be a part of it. Good, good morning, I'm Neil Abramson, state representative for District 98, which includes the part of Magazine Street between Jefferson Avenue and Audubon Park. And I think this is gonna be a wonderful project for our community. I also live a block and a half from Magazine Street. And all the small businesses, the restaurants, the coffee shops, the retail shops that everybody visits, not only when they come in town, but also the local people who live here, it's going to be a tremendous asset to our community. And w this program has done a lot of good work in the city since the storm. Nashville Avenue, you, many of y'all seen those repairs, was done on this program. St. Charles Avenue, Carrollton, and I look forward to, even though I walk to get my coffee on Magazine Street, I look forward to adding to Nashville, Carrollton, and St. Charles, those streets where you can drive down New Orleans with a cup of coffee and it won't spill. And so this is going to be a tremendous project. And thank you all all for coming. And I thank uh, the, the state, the federal government, and the city of New Orleans for making this happen. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Walter Brooks with the Regional Planning Commission. You know, Smerge Roads Program has just been a tremendous uh, project. Uh, 56 streets are in this phase. We're working right now with the state and local governments to try and add another 30 routes uh, to the program as we secure some additional funding. Uh, Magazine Street, in my mind, stands out probably as the most complicated of all the projects. It's a very long corridor, has very high traffic and pedestrian volumes, and a very tight right-of-way to work within. But I'm very pleased that we've assembled a very high-quality team on the engineering and program management side. And uh, we're going to get the job done with minimum amount of disruption and in a timely and expeditious way. Uh, he's not here today, but Robert Mendoza, City Department of Public Works, has also been a major partner. Where is he? Oh, there you are. <laughs> and uh, you want to say a few words? Okay. Well, one of the other things, that, just so you know, this job goes from Calliope to Nashville, and Robert and I are working on 
uh, another project that will carry the improvements from Nashville all the way through Ottoman Park to Leak Avenue. Now that one's a little longer term, it's a little more complicated to do, and it's being handled through our regular federal aid program. But at the end of the day, we're going to have all of Magazine Street redone, and it is part of a very true livable community. Thank you. One, two, three. There you go. This is the Submerged Roads Program uh, that we will be enhancing uh, uh, Magazine Street, uh, quite a bit of it, the entire corridor to be, uh, to be uh, actual with you. Uh, we will bring uh, roadway improvements uh, with a surface overlay, uh, curb uh, improvements, as well as uh, ADA accessibility, uh, sidewalk enhancements, uh, in other words, from A to Z. We will be revitalizing, um, re-delivering Magazine Street. Tell us a little bit about the work schedule and working with the neighbors and the residents. Wow, there were uh, a series of meetings that uh, that took place with the Department of Transportation, local governing officials, as well as uh, legislators and uh, social civic organizations that actually met and talked through the uh, construction or reconstruction uh, phases that will take place. Uh, it was all inclusive. Uh, the community came out and they were heard loud and clear because quite naturally we did not want to disrupt business. We wanted it to continue to flow as, as it always has and hopefully with these enhancements it will come, it will flow even more. But it was all inclusive. Uh, we listened very well and responded accordingly. Well I think that's a really positive thing. I think that it took into account what citizens said. I mean it's, it's kind of the ultimate engagement that we have a now segmented project that really will be minimally disruptive to residents and, and businesses and I think it just speaks to how if you listen well you can get a win-win and make a good project. What's your reaction to getting this project done? Well, this is a long time in coming. I think it's a much needed improvement. It's a major retail corridor and residential corridor in New Orleans. It represents the whole character of the city. And I think the successful implementation of this project is a huge shot in the arm for the recovery of New Orleans. Were you pleased by the way the residents and the neighbors uh, and the merchants were taken into account in terms of planning the project? Well, absolutely. I think that is critical. And as we do infrastructure in modern times, that that engagement occur, that it's thoughtful and that it, you use it. You, you, you listen well and you take what comes out of it and, and put it to, to practice in the project. The Submerged Road Program has helped come into the city and help repair those roads that were damaged by Hurricane Katrina. It's federal money and it's going to be tremendous for the city uh, in terms of particularly revitalizing Magazine Street. What's your uh, feeling about the, this project and the way it's being done in phases? I think that's important because Magazine Street is such a vibrant part of our community with visitors and residents who use it so often that it ought to be done in phases so that people can still access the businesses here that's, which are so important to our community. What kind of reaction have you had from uh, the merchants and the, and the people that live in this area to the phase-in uh, schedule? Everybody's very excited about the project. Obviously, people are going to have to live through some disruption, but I think at the end of the day, everybody's going to be very excited about the end result. This is wonderful. Matter of fact, you really feel the, the, the reinvigorated spirit uh, from within of all the participants that, uh, that are involved with, uh, in New Orleans. Matter of fact, uh, the, uh, the citizens, uh, the business people, the uh, local elected officials, the various governmental entities, local, state, and federal government. So this is one uh, uh, joint collaborative venture that is actually launching today, and we're very, very proud of it.